Sagittarius Sun, Moon, rising in Venus. Welcome. It's Warriors of Light Astro Tarot. I'm David. I am a Sagittarius, full disclosure. This is your heart spread. It's a love romance relationship reading. It's for the mid May time frame. And um, using the Klimt art deck, if you give a darn there. So, um, real quick into the astrology. Um, the biggest thing with us, you know, like I, my sun's at 25 degrees. And it you've got uh, right now Neptune at 24 and a half degrees. It's going to dead square my sun and then retro back into it. And um, um, I tell you with that energy, though, if it's square in your energy, if you've got a late degree, so it doesn't have to be 25, but, you know, anything from like um, almost like 18 um, almost to 29, Sag, uh, you could be feeling this energy. And um, I've been having some amazing dreams. Like, uh, I'm clear audience. I'm used to kind of consciously getting my downloads. And wow, I mean, I remember words and phrases, like full sentences, which I never do. And I get up in the, I used to keep a dream notebook. Now, you know, I got a bit, I used the phone and, uh, you know, I put in my notes on the phone. Uh, because if I don't do a little note, then when I wake up in the morning, it's like I don't even remember. Um, so that's kind of a biggie. Um, Saturn is sextile to us right now in Aquarius, and that's good. But, you know, uh, sextile is the energy where you can work it, you know, but it's kind of easy to work. But it's, you know, you're working Saturn energy, so responsibilities and self-discipline. And I'm doing that. I mean, it's banging my sixth house for me. So I'm a Virgo rising. Um, and so that's, but it's not bad. You know, it takes a lot of sting out of uh, Saturn. You're on your own with Pluto. It's supposing my moon. So it's got, you know, it's about as tough as it gets. But, you know, hey, I'm used to doing shadow work. So bring it, Pluto. What else can you show me? Type of energy. I think the really cool thing for Sag is right now is you've got Venus at like 21 degrees uh, now. Uh, Aries, so that's trying, uh, you know, late degree of Sag, and you've got uh, your Jupiter, our sign, you know, our Cavalier is right at zero, and he's going to be ripping through Aquarius for months and, and retrograde, but then going back, and you know, that's great energy. Man, I'm feeling it. Like, I've been like, oh, forever. And I feel my energy like coming back, guys. So, um, if you've been down, I mean, this is your time. You know, I think, you know, that, that Jupiter and Aries, keep an eye on it. If you know anything about astrology, um, it's going to be banging. I got four planets in Sag, so I'm, I'm really happy about it. But it's kind of like uh, going up energy. The bottom of the deck is a nine of uh, cups. I'm kind of counting that because this reading, I'm having a little trouble getting a handle on. Now, let me just start, guys. There's something going on. This is your energy and love, Rowan's relationship, you know. And you've got the Eight of Cups, you know, walking away from something emotionally. I'm trying to get a beat on that with where you're at, separate from whatever person you're involved with. You know, this reads whoever's on your mind, whoever's in your heart, whoever you're involved with. You don't necessarily have to be physically with them. You could even be single, and this card, in that case, would be predictive, because this would be your person. And they're coming in with the Jupiter card, the wheel, so we were just talking about Aries. I got a feeling could be dealing with an Aries. My girlfriend's an Aries, and it's rocking. My love life's the only thing that's really going great. Um, and Aries is great energy for us, man, I think, you know. If you're really a Sag, you know, me and the Aries sun strong, or, you know, um, Aries is just a good energy. If you're a, Seri a, Ari a Sag rising, you know, uh, Aries is really good energy for us, you know, however you shake it. Um, but this is the Jupiter card, you know. It's a, this is the Klimt Dark Dex, a beautiful um uh, card here for and kind of you know this whole deck is unusual it's an un unusual wheel uh, but when this is in the position of your person it kind of makes them like a wild card you know um, and I, I can't I make up my mind yet whether this is a eight of cups as you walking away from energy in the past or walking away from this person and coming back we are in the Mercury retrograde, which I don't like necessarily see is that, you know, lovers coming back and computers breaking down. I think there's a lot more to it than that. And mainly Mercury retrogrades have to do with our mind and how we think and 
side of our own skull and all of that very private stuff but it's very profound and you get profound dreams and, and realizations and stuff with murky retrogrades but it could be because if this is a past person um, that could be it but then this is the tower card and that's your energy of how you're feeling towards them you know it's an unusual tower card too and this is their energy how they're feeling towards you here with the three of pinnacles and man that could not be any different so I got the feeling like your person uh, is really drawn to you. And here, this definitely shows, because a bit of a wild card, but it could be like, I think when the wheel's here, it's like when you came into this person's life, you know, they may have seen it as really auspicious, like you were their soulmate, like, eh, there was magical things around it. Like, you know, my girl and I came together when Mars and Venus was exactly conjunct and Leo back, you know, last summer. Uh, something like that where, you know, there's some kind of magic attached to it and, you know, which brings that wheel energy of something happening. Because um, normally I see this is just about them, but I keep thinking it's about you. Or it could just be like you. they were trying to manifest. And when you showed up, they were just certain that, boom, here's my manifestation. This Sag here, too. Doesn't mean it's another Sag, you know, here. Uh, but if there's any doubt, Sag, they're way into you. Um, very solid. It's such a positive card. They want to work with you. They're in it to win it. They're in it for the long term. They're they're serious. They're not a sunshine soldier. Um, they 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 got legs in their love for you. Okay. I'm in Mexico, and they call that here having patience and love. They got all the patience and love for you, guys. And now with the tower, <laughs> I wish we were doing a personal reading. I'm just fucking ask you, tower. What's going on with this, Saj? You know. Because this is how you're feeling towards them, you know, and I just, I don't see anything on their side. You know, I got, I have to assume from this when you have the Eight of Cups that you're bringing in this energy, like maybe that they can, you came together right as you were kind of in the middle of emotionally trying to detach from something else. And then maybe you, boom, came into this and maybe you hit some kind of bump in the road. And with the tower, it, it could be like you assuming that something they did was not really what they did and you kind of like said oh my god this relationship's ruined if that rings a bell now this is the advice from spirit for you in the relationship the temperance card your card the sag card this is the advice from them the king of swords and this is the advice for the relationship as a whole the magician these three cards represent advice from spirit I like to say I don't always trust myself, and I never trust the fucking government, but I always trust spirit, so these are very important. And with these cards, this reading comes together for me, because you have the Ten of Cups as an out, outcome. Guys, the Ten of Cups, you, it's got to be love, fulfillment in love here. And, you know, and I think somehow you're not seeing it. So with advice coming under the tower, it's like, I when I first saw this and I was laying the cards out, I was like, Chaj, chill, just chill, Saj, calm down. You got this. This is not, it's like you're, you're seeing something wrong. You're assuming something wrong. It's actually great because this is patience and, and flowing energy. And it's your energy. So they're saying like, just kind of just be yourself, be chill, you know, don't freak out. And it's the advice for your person with the King of Swords. And I'd love to have a cross watcher and have this shared, you know, as a way of kind of using this to engender communication, guys. Um, but, you know, I think this person needs to kind of take a little control in the relationship. Maybe this is them really explaining to you whatever the fuck went on to freak you out. And being honest and decisive and confident and open, bringing it right out into the open. And with this being the advice for the relationship as a whole, the magician card, it means I believe that this talk, but the, I want to reach this cross watcher possibly or your person. Because they need to really bring it here in this conversation, wide open. And I believe that's just going to work magic. It's the magician card. It's going to work magic. And if they do this, kind of usually it hinges on you, these readings. But this hinges on them. And so maybe share this with them, guys. I'd love that. And But if they have this conversation and really be brutally honest, totally open and clear, very clear with you, it's going to change everything. And, and this means it's going to change. You can't even imagine how much. You're, you might be thinking, no way, no way. And when this conversation goes down, you're like, oh, my God, I'm in love. And then, because you've got the Ten of Cups as the outcome, guys. 
I think so, guys. So, love you guys. Let me know what you think. Subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Thank you.